Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the dog father and uh, hey, I know it's been a while since we put out a video. I'm still here guys. We're not at full, you know, full time yet, but hey, we're making one today and I got a doozy for you. We're going to be making a barbecue smoked baked bean. You with it? Let's get it. That's right guys, so today we're doing this, this uh, barbecue smoked baked beans, as I said. Now, uh, really fast, easy recipe we're gonna get into, but I wanna know, what kind of beans do you guys like? Do you like, you know, just pinto beans or black beans or, you know, what do you guys like on the grill? You know, I kinda like this uh, style of uh, beans, so that's why we're gonna do this. So, let's hop into this recipe. All right, guys, so we're going to get this recipe going here. And I apologize. I'm using my induction burner here today. And, uh, it's, you know, it might be a little loud, but, hey, we're going to get through it. Now, first step we're going to do is we've got our bacon. So we're going to go ahead and add our uh, chopped bacon into our pan here. Got to love the sizzle when, uh, you know, that bacon hits the pan. But, hey, we're just going to kind of put this in here, get it working around. And we're just basically trying to render out some of the fat here. All right, guys, so now that we've got this bacon starting to render its fat out, uh, we've got a nice little fawn developing here on the uh, bottom of our little cast iron dish here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our onions here. Again, we just got some chopped onions. Uh, this is like a half a small onion that I've got in here. And we're just gonna add this in and let it come to a good sweat. This is gonna help us pull all of that flavor off the bottom of this, uh, this little skillet here. And uh, man, that just, like I said, adds great flavor to these beans. So we're gonna work these beans around. It's not gonna take too long. We're just gonna move them around and, you know, until they get nice and translucent, and then we'll be ready to move on to our next step. All right, guys, so we've got this, uh, these onions nice and translucent for us. This is coming together well, and now we're ready to move on to the next step. We're gonna add our beans in. So we're gonna go ahead and get these beans put into our, uh, our pan here. Kind of break them up move them around again it's pulling all of these uh this font this uh fond off the bottom of the pot here and uh, that's what we want right now we really don't need much heat we've got it turned down to a uh, low and uh, we're just going to keep these beans moving around guys now what we're going to do is get this other uh, can of beans put in here and we're going to get ready to start to add the barbecue flavors to this now again you can use whatever barbecue rub you like guys it's really a preference thing whatever whatever you like go for but again today we're going to be using this uh, bourbon brown sugar rub from uh, louisiana grills and what we're going to do here is uh you know the best measuring tools of your hands here so we're just going to put here about a tablespoon in there and we're going to call it two tablespoons of this that we're going to put on and we're going to get this moved around Get it nicely incorporated. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some barbecue sauce, guys. So again, great barbecue sauce. Whatever flavors of barbecue sauce you like, that's what you use. You don't have to use a specific. So whatever flavors you like. If you have your own homemade barbecue sauce, use it. If you like a store brand, use it. So we're gonna put some barbecue sauce in here and we're gonna go with, that's gonna be one, two, three, I'm going to call it four tablespoons of uh, barbecue sauce we're going to add to this. And we're going to just work this around. And you can see that color starting to really mix in with these beans really well. So we're just kind of mixing it through. At this point, we can uh, go ahead and turn off our heat. We don't really need it at this point because that's why we're going to put it on the barbecue grill, right? <laughs> All right. So we're going to keep this moving around. Just kind of get it a good, give it a good mix. Now, one of the reasons why I liked using this barbecue rub that I use is this is bourbon brown sugar. Now with smoked baked beans, you know, you kind of like that sweetness in there. So, or at least I do. So I'm adding this one because it already has the brown sugar in it. Now, if you want your beans sweet, add brown sugar. If you don't want it sweet, don't add it. It's that simple. But you know, I kind of like that sweetness in my beans. So that's what we're doing. But now we got these beans all nicely incorporated. We got the rub in there. We've got the sauce in there. 
and there's only one one thing left to do. Bacon goes better with everything. We already got some bacon in there, right? But remember, we had some bacon slices. So guys, I like to take bacon slices before I put it on the grill, and I like to just put, you know, bacon slices right over top of it. Now again, if you don't like bacon like that, you don't have to do it. You know, this is all a preference thing. So we're just gonna put some slices on here. And uh, you know, I like the bacon flavor, but for me also, it kind of gives me a good gauge of when this dish is kind of done, you know, because that bacon like, you know, nicely cooks in there and absorbs some of that smoke flavor and uh, kind of gets a little crispy if you let it go long enough. But hey, we've got this all ready to go. So I tell you what, I'm gonna meet you over at the grill. And we're gonna get this dish going, all right? See you at the grill. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be using our Louisiana grills. This is gonna be our founder series premiere. It's the 1200. Basically, it's kind of like the Black Label 1200, but better. But hey, we're gonna get this put on today. We're gonna to be using some Pit Boss Classic Blend Pellets. Now, for those of you that don't know, you're saying, hey, Louisiana grills, Pit Boss do, which, which? So Pit Boss and Louisiana grills are under the same umbrella of a company called Danson, so hey, if you're Louisiana Grills, you're Pit Boss. If you're Pit Boss, you're Louisiana Grills. Anyway, let's get back to this. We're using our Louisiana Grills. We're using our classic blend pellets from Pit Boss. Uh, we're gonna be running this today at 275 degrees and uh, we got our beans put on. Now at this point, we're just gonna let them cook away, guys. Again, I put the bacon on top because the bacon for me is a great indicator of when the uh, beans are gonna be just about done. So we're gonna look for them to thicken up a little bit and here's a pro tip, if you want your beans to be a lot thicker, go ahead and drain your juice off of your canned beans before you get it all mixed together. Uh, if you like it a little bit more, you know, with liquid in it, leave it in. It's totally up to you. But uh, man, I tell you what, nobody told me it was gonna be hot like this today. Good God almighty. But um, hey, we're gonna let this keep going here. We'll check back on this in about an hour or so and uh, I'll bring you back, uh, you know, when we come back and check on it. So let's let it smoke away and I'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, so we're about an hour into this cook here. We're gonna take a look here and our beans are coming along nicely. You can see how we've got our bubbling going on there, which, you know, we wanna, we wanna see that with these beans. And uh, we're just looking for it to thicken up for us. Our bacon that we have on the top, you can see that the fat is rendering out of this bacon well, and uh, it's just gonna continue to get more and more done. And so we're gonna let this keep going. I'm not gonna mix it up. I'm not gonna stir it up or anything. I'm gonna let this keep going here and let this uh, fat continue to render more out of this bacon, let these beans thicken up a little bit more. And so I'll bring you guys back in about yeah, somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour. All right, guys, we're about an hour and 40 minutes into this cook and our beans are looking fantastic. Again, we've got a great bubbling happening here. The fat is rendered on this bacon really well. And uh, man, I'm gonna call this cook done. All right, so we're gonna get these off and uh, I'm gonna be using my Magna Chef gloves here, guys. And uh, these are fantastic gloves for handling hot items off the grill. I'll make sure I'll put the link down in the description box below so you can check them out. But we're gonna get these uh, beans off here. We're gonna let them rest for a little bit and uh, we'll meet you back in the studio. All right guys, so let's talk about what we did with today's cook. Now today we did a really easy recipe of uh, barbecue smoked baked beans. Now to get it started, we just chopped up a little bit of bacon and we got it moving around in our pan just to kind of sweat it down, get some of that fat rendered out of it. We didn't want it crispy, but just to render some of that fat out of it because we're gonna saute some onions. That's right, we got a half of a small onion, we chopped it up and we got it into our pan with that bacon fat. Now we're not looking to you know caramelize these bacons, we're just gonna sweat them down till they get nice and translucent. And 
once we got to that point, we went ahead and added our beans. Now today we're using pork and beans. You can use any kind of beans that you like, but I use pork and beans because it kind of reminded me of when I was a kid. We used to have the little 4th of July picnics and baked beans and anyway. So we use <laughs> pork and beans into this recipe, guys. And then what we added to it was uh, we're gonna add some barbecue rub and some barbecue sauce. Now you can use any barbecue rub that you like. Uh, today I used a uh, bourbon brown sugar rub from Louisiana Grills. Why? Because I kind of like that sweetness in my baked beans like that. If you don't like the sweetness, use another rub if you like the sweetness try it if uh, you don't have this rub add some brown sugar just flavor it up however you like but that's what we use in ours today and then we added some barbecue sauce now again use any barbecue sauce that you have on hand if you got some you've made use it if you got some from the store use it it really doesn't matter just get some barbecue sauce you know added it into the mix now we mix these beans up guys and then we uh, got some bacon slices and put them on top now I like the bacon slices on top of it it's purely optional but uh, again I love to put that on it because I like bacon and I like to be able to have that as an indicator because I can see when that bacon is rendering down and this dish is getting nicely cooked so we got this all put together and we put it onto our Louisiana Grills Founder Series 1200 today and we ran it at 275 degrees and uh, you you know guys we got a great cook on to it we ran it for about an hour and 40 minutes to completion and then we pulled it off to uh, kind of rest up these beans now we got them here in the studio and it's gonna be time for us to dig into it in just a second so let's try it out all right guys so here we've got our beans man they thickened up nicely I actually like my beans nice and thick render some of that juice out of it and just make it really thick so that's what I've got going on here uh, bacon is rendered down. You can see some of that fat pooling there on the uh, on the bacon man. You know it's going to be good. So I got to get in here and get some of this. So I'm going to move some of this bacon to the side here. We're going to get some of these beans put into our little uh, ramekin here. And uh, man, I know this is going to be good. So this is what we're working with here, guys, with these uh, smoked barbecue baked beans. So let's get our little trusty... Dow strong spoon here and uh, let's give these eyes a taste man there we go mm. all right so look I'm not telling you to slap your mama but if you feel so inclined to do so this dish right here is a uh, slap your mama worthy so man this was fun guys hey if you like what you saw here make sure you give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel and uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video, all right? Peace.